Activated T cells synthesize the T cell growth factor, interleukin-2, and its receptor. Naive T cells can live for many years without dividing. These small resting cells have condensed chromatin and a scanty cytoplasm and synthesize little RNA or protein. On activation, they must re-enter the cell cycle and divide rapidly to produce the large number of progeny that will differentiate into armed effector T cells. Their proliferation and differentiation are driven by a cytokine called interleukin-2, IL-2, which is produced by the activated T cell itself. The initial encounter with specific antigen in the presence of the required co-stimulatory signal triggers entry of the T cell into the G1 phase of the cell cycle. At the same time, it also induces the synthesis of interleukin-2 along with alpha chain of the interleukin-2 receptor. The interleukin-2 receptor has three chains, alpha, beta, and gamma. Resting T cells express a form of this receptor composed of beta and gamma chains, which binds interleukin-2 with moderate affinity, allowing resting T cells to respond to very high concentrations of interleukin-2. Association of the alpha chain with the beta and gamma chains creates a receptor with a much higher affinity for interleukin-2, allowing the cell to respond to very low concentrations of interleukin-2. Binding of interleukin-2 to the high affinity receptor then triggers progression through the rest of the cell cycle. T cells activated in this way can divide two to three times a day for several days, allowing one cell to give rise to a clone composed of thousands of progeny that all bear the same receptor for antigen. Interleukin-2 also promotes the differentiation of these cells into armed effector T cells. And that's activated T cells synthesize the T cell growth factor, interleukin-2, and its receptor. Have a great day.